Hillsborough County School Board is once again talking about the highly controversial plan to change school boundaries. The school district says they may move thousands of students to deal with overcrowded and underused schools, but many parents are opposed to the changes. Jeff Patterson joins us now live in Tampa with more on the story. Jeff. Good evening, Josh. The school district says that some changes are needed and those changes could save millions of dollars. School board members know rezoning is not a popular idea with parents. It's very difficult in a district of over 200,000 students for us to make a decision that's going to make every family okay with a change. Today, school board members held a workshop without public comment to talk about a way to deal with overcrowded schools in some areas and nearly empty schools in others. But every time a plan has been presented so far, people have voiced opposition in public meetings. Every community meeting you go out to, people don't want to move, right? They don't want their school closed, and I understand that. But the reality is we have to do what's best for the entire school district. Today, board members ask school superintendent Addison Davis to go back to the drawing board and draw up a new plan. Right now, it looks around 50, a little bit over 15,000 students will be a part of my recommendation, but those in communities have actively been engaged in this process. Superintendent Davis says he hopes to come up with a new plan by the end of April. Live in Tampa, Jeff Patterson, 8 on your side.